welcome to Marina's Kitchen. Today I'm going to make some beautiful tasty tuna patties. They are so nice you can have them with a salad or with vegetables. So easy to make. First of all what you do is you boil four of those medium potatoes, boil them and mash them up. Okay, four of those lovely medium potatoes. And then after I chopped up a red onion, I chopped up a red onion really, really fine and put that through. And then after I put an egg, I put an egg in there. I put some nice parsley in there and two tablespoons, I'll switch this off, two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese I've got all through there. And I look, and I've got two tins of tuna. You can have one large can of tuna or two of these 185 gram tins of tuna or one large one. So I have two of these. And I've added my salt to the potatoes, so I'm not gonna add any more salt. But I'm gonna put some nice black pepper through it, which will give it a lovely flavor through it. So easy to make, just to put all together. They're lovely, they keep well. Okay, now. What I've got here, I've got here some breadcrumbs and I'll make some lovely patties and make them lovely breadcrumbs and then I deep fry them. I make that oil nice and hot to fry them in. Okay, I'm just going to switch this on, make it nice and hot. Just make them as big as you want to. Don't make them too big or too small. Just have that like that. Look, it's so easy to put together. Beautiful mixture, the lovely mixture with those mashed potatoes. Just put that in the breadcrumb. Put that in the breadcrumb like that and flatten it down and what you have to do is just put them all together. I made, I made quite a few here and I've got the oil going nice and hot and I'm going to fry them up for you. They're so easy. Just put them in there like that. They've got that breadcrumb on the outside so they won't stick to the sauce the frying pan. I'll make some. You can make as big as you want to or as small as you want. This is a nice size. It makes a lovely patty and it only gives it still brown. You don't have to cook them too long as long as they get brown on each side. That's all you want. You can get quite a few out of them. Just keep on doing the same thing. You can prepare this beforehand, put it in the fridge and then just fry them up when you're ready. So that's all you do. You put that lovely mashed potatoes, that tuna, a, a little bit of a red onion, salt and pepper and parsley and some lovely Parmesan cheese. Now just make them them nice and brown. I've got a bit, a bit of olive oil in that pan because I want to just sort of shallow dry uh, fry them, okay? So they don't take long to cook because everything is cooked. All they've got to do is just come up that lovely breadcrumb and put it all together. So all you do, look, that, that's all you do, just put it together. Lovely. And they just get brown on each side. That's all you want to do. They just come like, they don't take long to cook because as everything is cooked, you've got to put that tuna together and potato together. They just put it, just turn it around. They're lovely. They are very nice to have with vegetable or with a salad. Very easy. And they'll keep well. As I said, you can prepare that beforehand and put it in the fridge and then just when you're ready to cook them. Just cook them up, make, make the oil nice and hot, and you get these beautiful, tasty tuna patties. They are very nice, very quick to make. Just put it all together. And I look, you've got, you've got quite a few here. They get nice and brown, lovely and brown on each side. And you've got quite a few here. You can make large ones or small ones. This is a nice size. I like this size. And then you can either have them, as I said, you can either have them with a salad, or with vegetables, whatever you prefer. And that is that 400 gram of a large tin of tuna or two of these small ones, 185, two of those or a large tin. And I've got four lovely medium sized potatoes and I cooked them and mashed them up. When they were cold, I added the tuna, I added my egg, I added my uh, smaller red onion, I chopped it up really finely. And then after I had the parmesan cheese, I had the parsley and an egg through it very quick, very easy. And then just make them up like that. Just put them together like that. Get a nice handful. Just press it all together. And then put it in a breadcrumb. That's it. Very easy. You just put it in a lovely breadcrumb and make a lovely patty out of it. Now that's nice. 
they are cooked now, they are lovely. I'm just going to show you now how they are. They're beautiful. And you serve them with a wedge of lemon. Serve them with a wedge of lemon. I'm going to switch this off now, which is good. They are beautiful. There you go. You've got these beautiful tuna patties. Lovely. As I said, you can serve them. They are lovely cold too. You can have them in the fridge. Lovely. With a wedge of lemon. Put them together. Beautiful. That, there's my lovely tasty tuna patties. Very nice to make, very quick to make, very easy and maybe on a Friday you don't want to, you want to have some fish, have these tuna patties with a vegetable or a salad. They're easy to make, very easy to make so I hope you will try them. They're so nice, lovely to use up. Sometimes you want to use up the tuna for something and this is the lovely way how to use up some tuna because you have some goodness out of it. Okay, I hope you like them and try them. Thank you for watching my video. Have a lovely day. Bye.